hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel it's a girl lindsay and today we'll be doing a spring twist bob also don't forget to hit that subscribe button below thank you so i'm starting out with freshly washed and blow dried hair i just blow dried my hair just to stretch it out so just a little bit on some low heat and the hair that we'll be using is a kima spring twist i have three packs of this hair in two packs in one b30 and a pack in 30 and the only reason why i have a third pack in 30 is because my store didn't have any more 1b30 so i'm just gonna go ahead and start by parts in the back of my head and as you can see i'm not using my struggle mirror i finally found a mirror big enough to see what i need to see okay my struggle mirror did a job but thank god we found a real mirror so i'm just gonna go ahead and get my hair as neat as possible so when i'm done i did about six small pieces so now i'm just back. gonna take my shannon jam gel and put it all along the hair strand and this stretched my hair so nice that i was like okay lengths but anyway so when i'm finished putting the shine and jam all along the hair from root to tip i'm just gonna go ahead and put a rubber band at the root and i did soak my rubber bands in castor oil this just helps to prevent breakage and makes the rubber band easier to come out when we're ready to take down this style you know less friction less tension and then when i put the rubber band i just pull it just a little bit not too tightly because remember this is a protective style and you don't want a lot of tension at the hair root and you don't want to bump on your head back so i'm just gonna repeat the same steps i know some people like to part and then crochet the hair part and crochet but i really would just wanted to get this part out of the way so i just tried to go along my head just take my time and repeated the same steps part part into the small square shine and jam all along smile at my stretch that the shine and jam did give me and then put the rubber band at the root and just made sure not to put it too tightly So I finally reached the front of my hair. Oh my gosh, guys, this took a minute. So I'm just parting as neatly as possible. I think I have about two more left. Thank God. So I'm just gonna grab my shine and jam once again and repeat the same steps. So all along the hair strand, this just helps to keep the hair in place and it also helps to prevent the hair from frizzing when it's intertwined in the crochet here. Cause you know, you just want to keep everything looking as neat and uniformed as best as you can. And then attach the rubber bands to my hair So I already did the bottom row and I started with the 1B30. I don't know guys, I was just kind of going mix and match. I did, I think, the bottom two rows with 1B30. So now with the second row, as I said, I'm just going back in with the 1B30. So for this section, I just went ahead and just ran some more shine and jam because I wanted it as smooth as possible. So then I'm just going to grab my crochet hook, open it and put it under the elastic. Attach the synthetic hair or the crochet hair to the open hook then i'm gonna close the hook okay all right let's go again i'm gonna attach it to the open hook then i'm going to close the hook then i'm gonna pull the hair through not all the way i'm gonna leave that loop push my finger through the loop and then pull one side of the loop through so for the spring twist guys i started off with a small three strand braid just a regular braid using my natural hair you know you just added about four sets so one two three four just for some added security you don't have to do this step you can just go ahead with the regular two strand twist but after i did the braid i just went ahead and just blended it into a regular two strand twist now this is just how i like to do it for this style just for some extra security and as i said i went in after i finished and then just twisted it like normal but the thing is when you're twisting the spring twist i kind of did twist and pull up twist and pull up just so it has that kind of extra springy shrinkage kind of look so it's like i did a twist and pull up twist and pull up don't worry i'm gonna run through this with you again
all right so again we're just gonna grab our crochet hook then we're gonna put the open hook under the elastic band we're gonna grab our hair and then we're just gonna i like to kind of twine where i'm going to attach it to the hook just you know just to make sure i have everything in the hook then i'm just gonna attach it to the open hook close the hook and pull it under the band not all the way through pull that one side over then i'm just gonna go ahead with my natural hair and start off with a three strand braid this is just my thing how i like to do it just for extra security and then when i feel like i'm satisfied or the braid feels secure enough then i'm just gonna continue on with the two strand twist so you see me just doing a regular braid this was easy you know doing this at the back of my head but hey we do it because we like it and then i'm just gonna continue on with my two oh kind of got a little stuck there okay with my two strand braid and as i not two strand braid two strand twist sorry and then as i'm going i'm kind of just pulling upwards if you notice i'm just not twisting i'm not just twisting going down all willy-nilly like that i'm kind of going at a slow pace because of me pulling up so it's like a twist pull up twist pull up twist pull up just for that extra springy bounce i mean the hair was already springy but i just i don't know i just felt like being a little bit extra you know and just having that little extra spring to the twist So now i'm going in with the 30 color and then i'm just gonna repeat the same steps guys seriously i'm just repeating the same thing all over my head so trust me you got this it's so easy and i would recommend watching a movie or something i tortured myself and watched nothing while i was doing this so it just made it go by that much slower but please watch something while you're doing this so again hook under the rubber band push through attach the hair close the hook pull through braid three strand braid then do your two strand twists and you're good to go So as i got further to the top of my head before i crocheted the hair i kind of did fluff it out a little bit i know some people like to fluff it out but honestly guys like you'll see me fluffing before i crochet but i didn't really see a difference with fluffing versus non-fluffing i just wanted to see if it would have made the twist any bigger i just wanted to see if it would have made any difference and it kind of really didn't but i just continued fluffing because i don't know i kind of had a fun time just fluffing out the hair so if you want you can fluff out the hair i know some people prefer to do that because they like the what type of effect it gives but that was just me showing you another alternative that i know some people like to do also i didn't add any elastic bands or you know some people say rubber bands i didn't add any to the ends of the hair and i've had the hair in for a while now and they have not unraveled so some people like to add some rubber bands oh by the way for the hair at the bottom i did cut in half because i'm going for a bob style i cut the hair strand in half for maybe the first three rows at the back and as i got further to the top of my head i didn't cut the hair at all i just left it because i was kind of going for that longer in the front shorter in the back look and at this point i just started mixing and matching the color i just i don't know guys i was getting so tired and i said you know what whatever goes goes mix and match it will flow some way somehow and i just i didn't really want black especially because it's summertime i just wanted to break away from the black for a little bit and you know i just decided to just use this for now and one thing i really do like with this style it's off my neck my scalp can breathe this style i'm wearing a protective style my scalp is so cool my neck back not sweating it's great it's amazing so i'm just doing the same thing i'm almost finished here plotting and then twisting so now i'm at the top of my head 
I'm finally at the front so whoop to do and I'm just showing you fluffing the hair just a little bit just a little bit and then I'm just gonna repeat the same crochet steps So now we have everything crocheted i'm just gonna clip some loose hairs any flyaways away out of the hair then i'm just gonna grab my mousse i'll link it down below and just apply a generous amounts all over my hair this is like low-key my favorite part it feels so good oh my gosh and then i'm just gonna grab my castor oil and my eye natural skin pepper oil i'll link that down below as well and apply it to my roots then we're gonna go for some hairspray all right beautiful people and we are finally done this style honestly i went to sleep with this style guys and the next day i had so much shrinkage i didn't expect it i don't know what i was looking for but honestly it grew on me it's super perfect for the summertime and i really enjoy having this bob style so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe share this channel guys subscribe subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be alerted when i post a new video and don't forget to follow me on all socials at underscore underscore lindsay beth yes just like that right there in the left hand lower corner and i will see you guys in the next video as always thank you so much for watching and let me know down below your perfect or your favorite summer style in this heat okay and i will see you guys in the next video till next time bye